the retina covers two-thirds of the inside of the eyeball. Here at the back of the eyes, specialized cells soak up light and turn what we see into a stream of electrical signals. But when we examine a cross-section of the retina, it looks like someone made a crazy mistake with the circuits. The light has to travel through a dense wall of nerve cells before it strikes the detectors. These are the cells that make the difference between sight and blindness. You have more light receptors than there are people in the United States, all in the space of a couple of postage stamps. There are two kinds of receptors mixed together in the retina. Most are long, thin rod cells, which see well in dim light, but can detect images only in black and white. The stubby pointed cell is called a cone. It registers color, but works best in bright light. At the center of the retina, there's a dark region. In the middle of that, the microscope reveals a crater. This tiny pit is crammed exclusively with cones, and the wall of nerve cells that covers them is thinner. Here in the pit, light penetrates the retina more easily, and the cones at the bottom can detect the finest details of a scene. Without thinking about it, Caroline keeps the brush near the center of her vision, so its image falls on the cone-filled pit. So, her view is sharpest in the center and a little fuzzy round the edges. The sensitive center of the retina is easily damaged. The sun's intense focused energy could burn out those cells. Yet vision evolved to use light from the sun and to see it as all the colors of the rainbow. What we see is reflected light. From a lemon, only yellow light is reflected back to the cones of our eyes, so the fruit appears yellow. The human eye can distinguish thousands of colors, yet we have only three distinct kinds of cones to cover them all. One is sensitive to a whole range of colors, including red. A second kind centers on green, while the third favors blue. Just as three basic paints can be mixed to give an almost unlimited range of colors, nerve cells in the retina mix the signals from the three kinds of cones to give the illusion of other colors. It's only at the center of the retina that there are so many cones. Moving out towards the edge of the retina, the dim light detectors, the rods, take over. In this slice across them, the thick cones are far outnumbered by the color-blind rods. So the edge of our view is not just blurred, it has less color too.